So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Rajin from Toys for Learnings and in this video we'll talk about binary addition. Now when you talk about your computer, the brain of your computer is CPU, right? And CPU does all the operations, even if you want to uh, play some game, if you want to go to Facebook, if you want to open a notepad, if you type a code, everything is done by your CPU, right? And all the operation in your CPU is done with the help of binary format. Now this binary format, uh, it, it is your zeros and ones, right? So it doesn't support two and three and four. So you have to, when you, if you even if you want to say five, you have to convert that five into binary format. Example, the binary format of five is one zero one, right? So all the operation need to be done in binary format. So one of the operation which we normally talk about is binary addition. So when you want to add two numbers, when you say you want to add two binary numbers, how do we do that? So first of all, we'll take five and three in the decimal format. We have to convert this number into binary format and it's very easy to do, right? So we can convert 5 as 1, 0, 1, that's the binary format of 5. And then we got 3, which is 0, 1, 1. Now this is the binary format of 5 and 3. And we want to add these two numbers. Now how do we add it? It's very simple. So before adding this thing, we will just learn the uh, rules for addition of two numbers. So how do you add? We'll say 0 and 0. If you are adding 0 plus 0, you'll be getting 0, right? And then we'll be getting 0 plus 1. Now it is obvious, right? It is 1. And then we got 1 plus 0, which is again 1. So this is this is normal which we have learned from our childhood, right? But the moment you get 1 plus 1, something struck to your mind, which is 2, right? But unfortunately, in binary format, we don't have 2. We have 0 or 1, right? So the addition of 1 and 1 is actually 0. Now that's weird, I know. But how exactly it works? Uh, so we have 1 plus 1 is 0 and we have to carry 1. So that means in short, when you say 1 plus 1, it will give you 1, 0, right? Which is 0 is the value and 1 is the carry. Same goes here, we, have, we, we are getting the output as 1, 0. But then why exactly we get 1 plus 1 is 0? So for that, you have to watch my video. So you know, in the description area, you will find a video to do that. I mean, how it works, one plus one, or you can see a card there, click on the card, you will get the video there. Uh, so but one plus one is zero, and then you're getting a carry as one. So one plus one is one zero, right? So now if you want to add these two, two numbers, we'll say one plus one, it will give you zero, and then carry goes one, right? So one plus one is zero, you're getting the carry as one. Then you're saying one plus one, you're getting this as zero again, and then one carry, and then we'll get one zero. So we got one, zero, zero, zero. So when you add these two numbers, you get one, triple zero, and this number is actually eight, right? So when you say five plus three is eight, so one, triple zero is eight. So that's how you can add two numbers. But the problem starts when you have a big hierarchy of numbers. Example, let's say, if I say we have a number 111, then 101, and then 111, and then we have 111. If you want to add these numbers, how it will be? Right, because we have a list of numbers. Now, how will you add it? So, we can do the, doing this this way. So, we can say 1 plus 1, which is 0, right? So, this 1 plus 1 is 0. Then 0 plus 1 will give you 1. But then 1 plus 1 is again 0. So, in, in short, we are going for two carry right so this one plus one will give you one carry and then this one plus one will give you the second carry right and then ultimately we'll be having zero here and then we have to say one plus one which is zero then we got one carry here then one plus one we got zero we got one carry here and then we we got this one here now we got two carries here so we have one plus one that is one carry then one plus one so we for this one we got one for this two ones we got one more one and then we got for this two, we have to go for one more carry. So the answer is zero because we are not going for any one, any extra one. Then we have three ones. So one plus one is, uh, so one plus one is zero. And then we got one carry. And then we got this one that goes down. And then we got this one here. So if you add these numbers, you got one, one, zero, one, zero. But hold on, that's a very complex stuff, right? Because it's very difficult to predict the number of carries. So we have a simple solution for this. The simple solution is, if you have this number, like let's go for the next number here. Okay, so let's say we are going for this number. We want to add these numbers, right? So if you can remember the, some formulas or some rules, you will get the answer very easily. Now that the formulas here. So whenever you want to add the number of ones, if that number of ones is even number, the ultimate answer you'll be getting here is zero. So when you have ones, which is an even number, the answer here will be getting is zero. Okay, but if this is even number or this is odd number, you will get it one here. So if the number of ones is 
even you will get zero number of ones is odd you will get one now if you can see we have one two three four five so we got one right now how much to carry so we got the answer one here but how much to carry so divide this number by two so we have five ones divided by two which is two again we will not go for 0.5 there we will go for two so we have to carry two right then we got one one so one two three four five six seven right so when you have seven again odd numbers so we will get one here and then how much to carry divided by three right which is uh, divided by seven divided by two which is three so you have to carry three three digits here then we got one two three four five six seven eight we got an even number so you're right it will be zero here right how much to carry four ones so one two three four then we got four ones here so it would be zero even number how much to carry two then zero how much to carry two divided by one two divided by two is one so this is the addition of this um, and when you have this one 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 five times right so that's how you can add two numbers in binary in binary format so that's that sounds simple right again uh, to understand this concept of why one plus one is zero that you have to watch the video which is there in the description area so that's it thank you so much for watching and do subscribe